Governor Newsom officially announces that all health care workers in the state will be required to get a booster shot. He says he believes a third dose is the best way to protect frontline workers. ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez joins us live with some of the pushback that announcement is getting. Sophia. Well, Lindsay, Governor Newsom today said that in just a week, we went from seeing about 5,400 new cases a day to today being just shy of 11,000. And it's because of stats like this that the state says we should have this added layer of protection. However, those who are required to get the booster shot are not all on board. Just last week, the state of California found its first confirmed case of Omicron. Wednesday, we are at 191 people infected with the variant, with close to 3,600 Californians hospitalized with some variant of COVID. We're holding strong, mindful, though, of these growth rates and these trends. And so we can't take anything for granted. The statistics pushing Governor Newsom to mandate healthcare workers get their booster shot by February 1st. However, not all those required are on board. It just hurt my heart for the healthcare workers that already felt coerced into getting the vaccine to begin with and now for another one to be rolling out. Is it surprising? No, but it's it's really disheartening. Jen Peters was a nurse for over 12 years, terminated this October for refusing to get vaccinated. Is at what point does it stop? At what point are people considered quote unquote fully vaccinated? It's a choice she felt was right for her and hopes her colleagues will get that chance too. Whether that is to vaccinate or not to vaccinate, it's got to be something that is is best for you in your best interest, because at the end of the day, you have to take care of yourself uh, before you can take care of anybody else. To those on the fence, Governor Newsom says, let's not run the 90 yard dash. Uh, the data is overwhelming. It's clear. Evidence is in two doses is great. The booster is a game changer and that third dose is needed and no group of workers understands that perhaps more than our frontline health care workers. And so uh, I would just ask them uh, to continue to lead by example. Now, Governor Newsom also discussed plans to test students before they return to school and also extending hours of operation for testing sites in the state. For more information, you can visit our website, 10news.com. Reporting live, Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. Sophia, thank you. All right.